Hello, Gasa. Good afternoon. Oh my uh, god. Yes, hello. <laughs> my computer was not working. I thought you Yeah, I was trying to call you in um, uh, two minutes before our time, but I couldn't get through. Yeah, there's something wrong with my PC a while back, but yeah, it's okay now. Okay, so good afternoon, Mr. Chen. <laughs> yes, good afternoon. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy day yeah. off. Mm. So, did you go out? Did you go out today? No. No, no I didn't. Uh, yes. I didn't go out. I didn't go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna stay home the whole day? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you planning to to drink today? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, because some some yeah, some employees if they have uh, their rest day sometimes they they drink alcohol but it's not yeah it's not good right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anyway how is your family how's Dao Dao and your wife yes my wife and uh, my daughter have a uh, 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 mm -hmm. They have took the. They have uh, taken a nap. Ah, you mean you're, they're taking a nap at this moment? Yes, yeah, taking a nap. Yeah. At the moment. <laughs> okay, so yeah. since the action is ongoing, okay, you should say they're taking a nap. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to our lesson right away. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I haven't opened my book yet. So, have you opened your book already? Yes. Okay. I have. I uh, yes. Okay. So, what page okay. are we in now? Mm. Mm. Page nineteen. Is this is this right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. To be going to nineteen. Okay. okay. You ready to rock? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God! I'm. It's still. I'm too advanced. I open Calend seven. <laughs> You're on Calend six. Oh my goodness! Wait for a moment. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, I thought we're we are studying Calend seven already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So let's mm. finish Calend six so that we can proceed to Calend seven soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so are you ready to rock? Yes, I'm ready to rock. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start rolling on the floor now. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so again, okay, let me let me ask you, okay, what have we learned yesterday? What we have learned yesterday? Yeah, before we before we start, let me ask you what we have learned yesterday first. Okay? Yeah. So what can you remember? What can you remember with our previous lesson? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, could you please tell me? Uh, yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, I learned... Uh, 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 too common way to talk about the future. I will. Uh, uh, I will go to. I am go going to go to. To be going to. One common, mm -hmm. yeah. One common use the future simple. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, is to uh, communicate. Uh -huh. Is to communicate. Uh, yeah, we uh, we have uh, we have two different idea. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Are... yeah. Yeah. The first we have this uh, this moment decided to do something. The second uh, we use the future simple to make a prediction. Okay. Okay. So those are the two common uses yeah. of future simple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. we haven't we haven't learned the to be going to future yet. Okay. So as I have yeah. mentioned before, uh, yesterday, okay, there are two different. Uh, there are two future. Uh, right. What I call this one? There are two common ways to talk about the future. Right. So first we have. Yeah. The modal verb will, okay, and to be going to. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the one that you have mentioned earlier, okay, it's the two common uses of future simple. Okay. Yes. So again, the two common uses of future simple is to communicate that we have just this moment decided to do something and to make a prediction, okay? Those are the two common uses of future simple. Yes. Okay. So now let's discuss about the second way of, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, second way to talk about the future, which is to be going to. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... To be going to can also be used to make a prediction, okay, but a prediction using information we already have, okay? So, so as you have, as we have, um, as we have discussed earlier, okay, we can make a prediction uh, for future simple and we can also make prediction in to be going to. Okay, to be go uh, to be going to and future uh, simple can use. I mean, prediction can be used. Yes, prediction can be used in to be going to and for the future simple. Okay, but but it's different. Okay, because in to be going to, we can use the prediction using. Uh, we can use the prediction using information we already have. Okay, whereas for the prediction in future simple, okay, uh, there is no information yet. Okay, you don't you don't mm. know. Yeah, you, you you haven't seen something, but you're you're predicting that it will happen, something like that. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. So for example, if I say, "Oh, look at the sky. I think it's going to rain." I am predicting, okay, here, I am predicting rain because I can see the sky is dark and cloudy now. Okay? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. that is that is the information I have. Okay? I can see the sky is dark yeah. and cloudy. That's why I am predicting that it's going to rain. Okay? Yes. There is the information. You have the information. You already have the information because of the sky. Okay, because the, because the sky is dark and cloudy, whereas for the future simple, no information yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, another common use of to be going to is to communicate a future intention. Okay. Future intention. Okay. Okay. Something that we have already decided to do. So, for example. If I say, I'm going to buy a new car, 
Okay, I'm going, not I will, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, you can say I will buy a car. I will buy a uh, I will buy a new car. Okay, but um you can use it. You can use I will buy a car if you if you have just decided at this moment. Okay, no plan. No plan. You didn't mm. plan to to buy one. Yeah, but here if you say mm. I'm going to buy a new car, okay, it means you have plan you have plan to buy a new car okay you're planning yes. to buy a new car it is your intention okay 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 maybe maybe you're planning uh, uh you have been planning to buy a new car a year ago okay yes. so you already yeah. have plan to, to buy a new car okay so here i am communicating that i have already decided to buy a new car okay it is my intention to buy one yes. okay okay so tell me one common use of to be going to please one common use uh, to be going to is to make a prediction use seeing information we already have okay that's correct so give me an example please be careful. Uh, that white glass is going to fall at the table. Fall off. Okay. Fall off. Okay. Okay. So you should read like this. Okay. Not. Not. Um. Be careful. The wine glass is going to fall off the table. Okay. It's not like that. You should say fall off right away. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful. That wine glass is going to fall off the table, okay? Not fall off the table, okay? Because off is a preposition and it's, uh, I mean, um, it is connected to the verb fall, okay? So you should say fall off. Yes. Okay. okay. So just like off and on, okay? This is not the preposition. Uh, this is not the... Um, the word O F. Okay, so there is off which has single F, okay, and this one is different, okay. Yeah. Off okay. is it's the um, opposite word of on, right? Okay, so you should say fall off. Okay. Not, okay. It's going to fall off the table. Okay, it's not it's going to fall off the table. Okay, it's not correct, okay? Yeah. You should say fall off right yes. away. Okay, so in yeah. here, you so you have the information, uh, which is uh, the t the wine glass is going to fall off the table, maybe because the wine glass is at the edge of the table. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. it might it might fall off if if you're not going to be careful. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so tell me another common use of to be going to, please. Uh, another common common use uh, to be going to is to communicate a future intention, something that we have already decided to do. Okay, give me an example, please. I'm going to go to the cinema next Saturday. Okay, so this mm -hmm. one. I'm going to go to the cinema next Saturday. Okay, you have you have already planned it. Okay, you have intent you have uh, intended to to go there. Okay, you have the intention. It is your intention to to go to the cinema next Saturday. Okay, it yes. it's not okay. It's not a rapid decision. Okay, so it's if if you yes. didn't plan it, if you didn't plan it, and you have just decided at this moment, it's a rapid decision. It's a quick decision. You can say, I will go to the cinema next Saturday. Yes. Okay. That is, so can you see the difference between the two? Mm, will and yes. the between the two? Okay. Okay, yes. so that's great. So next one, to communicate your future intentions, it is important to remember to use to be going to. Okay. Okay. So again, to communicate your future intentions, it is important to remember to use to be going to. 
okay not the future simple which is will okay if it's your intention don't say will then say i will uh, i will eat my dinner at 8 p.m something like that okay if, if it's your intention if, if you have already planned it don't use the word will okay yes okay so if you decide to watch the film tonight and then later you tell a friend what you have decided to do you should say i'm going to watch the film tonight okay it is wrong in this situation to say i will watch a film tonight okay this is a very common mistake yes okay okay so tell me what you have decided to do this afternoon uh this evening okay let's just say um Let's just say it's still, um, uh, what do you call this one? Let's just assume that still 10 a.m. at this moment, okay? Okay, so tell me what you have decided to do this afternoon. Mm. Yeah, the afternoon... Uh... Uh, the afternoon, I'm going to uh, learn uh, English. Okay. <laughs> okay. With, with, <laughs> with, with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with teacher uh, Rina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. I would <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yes, uh, yeah, I was um yeah, I, I thought you you can you can't pronounce my name. You couldn't pronounce my name, but I, but I'm glad that you're able to pronounce my name. Uh, uh what do you call this one? You you uh, you're able to uh, to remember my name rather <laughs> okay I thought you forgot my name <laughs> because, because you're thinking too much <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so um, excuse me yes uh, hello hello I'm sorry I had to mute my microphone I was coughing I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I've got a cough. That's why. Okay. So let's proceed to the next words. Okay. Pass. Yes. Pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Abs. Abs. Abstain. Mm -hmm. Abstain. Living room. Live. Okay. Stairs. Upstairs. Downstairs. Living room. Lift. Okay, so do you have stairs at home? Uh, no. Okay, what do you use? Uh, I use a lift. Ah, okay, so what if, what if um, there's a problem with the lift or with the elevator? Uh, yes. How, how can you, how can you go downstairs? I do, I do, I do. Yeah. But you, you, but you told me there's no, uh, there's no stairs. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, did, I don't usually use stairs. Uh huh. But, but there is, there are stairs, yes. right? <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you told me there's no, there are no <laughs> stairs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so by the way, lift is an is a British English. So what is what is lift in American English? Do you know what? Do you know what is it? Do you know what it is? No. No? No. Haven't you heard haven't you heard of elevator? Yes. Have... Yes. I I uh, already hear the elevator. Okay. So elevator actually is American English and lift, okay, is a British English. So they uh, use lift in in England or in London, in you know, in Britain. Yes. Uh, but in in the US they use elevator. We also say elevator, not lift. 
Okay, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in a house, are the bedrooms usually downstairs? Uh, let's say, for example, you're you're in a in your family house. You're not in your apartment or your or in your flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in your family house, uh, I mean, do your parents live in a flat or apartment too, or they lived in uh, in an individual houses? In flat. Ah, ah, they also lived in a flat. Yeah. Ah, so isn't it common to, to have your own house in your place? Own house. Yes, it's like an individual house, single house. Not, not in, um, not, just, not just like your apartment or your flat. Hmm. Like a single house, single house, and Separ no, separate. No, not, not single house. Yeah, I mean, I mean, isn't isn't it common in your place to have to to live in? Okay. So let me show you something first, okay, and then tell me mm -hmm. if there are some some houses like this in your place. Mm. Wait for a moment, okay? I will show you. I hope you could see my screen. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Not yet. Mm, not yet. Why? <laughs> okay, let me just send you the screenshot then. Okay. I send I send you the screenshot. Okay, could you please open it? Open it. I already received. Mm -hmm. Yes. So these are yes. single houses. That's that how is the flat. Yeah, yes, but, yeah, but it's a single. No, because this is, yeah, um, yeah you're gonna, you're gonna have your own, this is their own house. This, it, it is not, um, uh -huh. I mean, yeah, it's not an apartment, it's not a flat. Yeah, you, um, it's okay to you know to to pay this monthly yeah or installment yeah and then once you're able to finish uh, paying for for its um, uh, I mean for the house and lot payment and then it's yours it's all yours yeah so it, it here in our place yeah it's um, it's common to have uh, you know to, to buy a house and lot to buy a house and lot and you'll be paying it for yeah you'll be paying your house and lot for uh, I mean every month or monthly until you finish paying it for yeah it depends on how many years will you be paying it yeah, yeah. because in your place it's um it's more common to to stay in in an apartment like um, which has uh, like 10th floors or 10 stories or more right yes yes it's not single like this it's not a single house yes yeah so this is only owned by one family isn't it common isn't it common in your place to have your your own house like this? Mm, no. No. Yeah. I thought I have asked you already about it, and you prefer to stay in in such a place because it's more 
it's more i mean it's safer right because you have your um you have your um security guard like that right <laughs> mm -hmm. right yeah but um um have i asked you about uh is this your own own flat already or are you paying it monthly for your rental or for the uh how can i say this so are you paying monthly for your for your house or for your flat or no you you have you, you have you have paid it for for the whole yes yes i have paid uh, or, pay, uh, or or uh, my house. or 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 is that your own flat i mean are you the are you the the owner of that whole building <laughs> yeah. yeah yes no no not not, uh. <laughs> not all buildings oh you're very rich <laughs> 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 oh, so how many floors again? How many floors? How many stories does it have again? Yeah, sixteen floor. Sixteen. Six. One, one, six. Yeah, yeah one, six. Oh, so floor. I thought, I thought you, you're the owner of that sixteenth floor, or sixteenth story building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you must be rich then. <laughs> okay. Okay, so anyway, let's proceed to the next question. Okay. okay. And is the living room usually up? Okay. So I think it's um how many how many floors do you have? Is it two? Two floors. Do you own a two floor build? Uh, two stories. Mm. Two floors. How many floors do you have? One or two? Mm. One. One floor. One. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Okay. So this is I don't know, but uh, if you have seen, yeah, if you have seen a single houses, um, is mm. the living room usually upstairs? Yes. Okay, for example, um, for the example, uh, for the sample houses I sent you, okay, do you think the living room is located upstairs or downstairs? Uh, uh, yes, I, th I think uh, the... Um, uh, I uh, know the, the living room. Uh, the living room isn't usually upstairs. It is uh, usually downstairs. Okay, maybe you haven't seen have you haven't seen a house like that. That's why. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> of course, if you if you got a single house like what I like uh, those houses I sent those images of houses I sent you, of course the the living room is usually downstairs. Okay. It's not upstairs. Yes. Okay, so um, why? Why do you think the living room usually downstairs, not upstairs? Yes, because I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, visit, uh, visit, uh, uh, visit uh, mm -hmm. okay visitor or guest um, I think uh, I think uh, Jeep, uh, Jeep uh, living room uh, is upstairs uh, uh, then uh, the bathroom is uh, uh, downstairs. 
visita a visit uh, want to uh, want to go living room uh, mm-hmm. they uh, they had to uh, uh, through uh, the bathroom <laughs> I think uh, not so possible <laughs> yes yes and it's it would it's easy to entertain visitors or guests yes because mm-hmm. of course if yeah. the living room is upstairs of course you have to let them go upstairs you have to let them go upstairs right so yeah, yeah for them to i mean um that's why living room are made are usually made downstairs because um it would be easy to entertain visitors yes they just have to enter yeah. the house and then sit down on the living room okay on the sofa rather mm-hmm. yes and they and um and then he can yeah and then he can talk together right <laughs> in, the, mm-hmm. in the living room okay next question if you had to get to a room that was on the 10th floor of the building would you take the stairs or the lift mm-hmm. I have uh, I have to uh, a room that was on the tenth floor of a building. I take uh, the lift. Okay, <laughs> you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course it's tiring, yeah. right? It's tiring mm-hmm. to use the stairs if if um if the room was on the 10th floor oh my goodness uh, if you had to get, if you had to get to a room that was on the 10th floor of a building maybe once you have arrived on the 10th floor maybe yeah. <laughs> you might feel you might you might feel like very tired extremely tired yes okay, because of course um even just you know even just it's just a two-story building of course it's it's tiring to you know to use the stairs that's why lift or elevator yeah has been made yeah for for us to to uh to go upstairs um i mean to go on the 10th floor um easily right yeah yeah so people actually are you know are very i mean those people who discovered or who who invented those equipment or those machines yeah they are they are genius right yes yes they're genius because they have you know they have invented such amazing um, machine or equipment for us to you know to to get to the place or to the floor we wanna we wanna go okay yeah. okay so next question oh so I have to open my <laughs> I have to open my why what do you call this one my video so let me open my video for a while because I have to ask something okay can you see my screen now can you see me now hello yes 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 <laughs> okay okay because the question is is this my top lip <laughs> is this my top lip <laughs> uh, yeah 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 top. So. this one top <laughs> top, top lip. Top. Yes. Top. Is this yes. my top lip? Yes. Are you sure? This one. Uh, the, the, the one is a uh, lip. Uh, okay. This one. Okay. This one is my bottom lip this is my top lip uh, okay yes. top bottom yes. okay okay so again is this my top lip <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> is this meat up with? Okay, the answer is already there. Mm, with the, I. The answer is already there, Mr. Jan. I open my. Oh. Oh, so you haven't opened your. Did you op, did you close it? Yes. Okay. Okay, again. Mm -hmm. Could you please answer the question? Wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. I open it. I I open my book. Okay. Mm. Uh, yes. No, it isn't your top list. It uh, your bottom lip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bottom. Okay, bottom lip. Yeah, bottom. Okay, top, top, and bottom. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next, do you think women look better with lipstick or without lipstick? Yeah. Do you think mm, women? I think. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I think women look uh better with lipstick. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> what about what about okay. men? What about men with lipstick? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because not stronger. Not? No, not strong. Not strong? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I think lipstick, uh, lipstick are made for women, not for men. Yes. Yes, yes. and of course, you're not a gay, yeah. <laughs> oh, what was that? I could hear something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So again, lipstick are made for women. Okay, not for yes. men. Oh, yeah, yes. and for gays. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you're gonna put on lipstick, they might think that you're a gay, right? Yes. <laughs> Are you a gay? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are there Are there many gays in your place? No. Not most. But there are a few. There are a few. Yes, there are some. There are some gays in your place, right? Mm, little in uh, in my place, uh, very little late. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. When it's when the count when the noun is a countable noun. Okay, and since we're since we're talking about people, and people is countable, okay, you don't uh, say little. Okay, you, sh you should say few. Yes. Okay. okay. Few. There are few people, or there are few gays in my place. Yes. Okay. So little is used for uncountable or non non count nouns. Okay. Yes. Yes. Like. Water, okay, water is a count now, is non count now, of course. Yeah. So you can say yeah. a little, I have a little water, not few water, okay? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, next question. Okay, next word we have system. Yes, system. Yes. So, what system of government do you have in your country? What mm. system of government do you have in your country? System of uh, government. I think I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't know. like uh, do you yeah. have do you have a democracy system like that? Democracy. Mm. No. You don't know. No. Yes, I don't know. You can look up on Google. You have your Google, right? You can check. You can check your. 
your Google, what kind of system do you have in your country? Uh, yes. Wish, wish for a moment. Okay. System. Yes. <clears throat> Political. Political system. Huh? Mm -hmm. Political. Uh, mm -hmm. With this woman. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think we have a single party uh, social uh, republic framework. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yes, there are there are sixteen government types, right? Yes. Yeah. So in your country, you have republic. Republic system. Yeah. Okay, it when we say when we say system, it is the way government works. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Only um only only republic. Mm, republic. Mm -hmm. mm, a republic. Yes. Yeah. What about democracy? No. They have the. You don't have democracy system in your place. No. No. Okay, so could you please repeat your answer? Yes. What system of government do you have in your country? Mm, we have uh, we have um, uh, we have a uh, uh, mm, we have a uh, Single party uh, republic system of government in my country. Okay. Okay. Next, sail, sailor. Okay. Are you familiar with this sail, word? Sail. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the, with those words already? Yeah, sail. Yeah. Okay. Sail. Yeah. Sailor, okay, sail. okay, sail. so sail. Mm -hmm. sail, sailor, yeah, I guess, sailor. Mm -hmm. sail, sailor, okay, okay, so is sailing a popular sport in your country? Is sailing a popular sport in your country? No, no, uh, sailing isn't, uh, uh popular sport in my country. Oh, so what is the popular sport then? Football. Okay. Football <laughs> As usual, football. <laughs> yeah, football. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so would you like to be a sailor? Mm, no. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be a, a sailor. Okay. Okay, so we're done with the question and answer portion. <laughs> so let's now move on to the to the dictation part. Okay, please close your book. Yeah. Yes. So we still have six minutes left. Okay, so let's start right away. I do not get up. Oh, by the way, do you have any questions so far? No, no question. Okay. Okay, so let's start our dictation part. Okay. okay, I do not, I do not get up. I do not get up. Mm. Immediately. I do, I do not get up. Mm -hmm. I do not get up immediately. Okay. After I wake up. After I uh, 
I wake up. Mm-hmm. After I wake up. Okay, and then comma. Okay, comma. Comma symbol. Mm -hmm. But I lie in bed. <clears throat> but I lie in bed. Okay. For a few minutes. Okay. 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 I do not get up emotionally after I wake up, but I like in bed for a few minutes. Okay, not like. Okay, it's lie. 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 Okay. I lie. Okay, let me repeat. I do not get up immediately after I wake up. Okay, comma, but I lie in bed for a few minutes. Yeah. Mm, uh, I do not get up immediately after I wake up. I lie in bed for a few, uh, a few minutes. Okay. Okay, it's done. I do not get up immediately after I wake up, but I lie in bed for a few minutes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Congratulations. But um, minutes, it's not minute, okay? Minutes, plural. Sunyo. <laughs> minutes. Okay, great Thank job. You. Okay, next sentence. Oh, you're, you're really improving even your... Um, even your listening skills yes your spelling skills is doing better now yeah you're really doing uh, you're really doing uh, you're certainly doing a great job as always uh, yes. okay congratulations again <laughs> okay <laughs> okay next we sometimes go through the summer we sometimes we som Okay. We sometimes go through the summer. Okay. Mm -hmm. We sometimes go mm -hmm. through the summer without going for a swim. Okay. We sometimes go through the summer without going for a swim. Going. Going for going swim. for a swim. Okay, so swim can be used as a verb. Okay, can be used as a noun as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so in this case, okay, it's not used as a verb. Okay, it's used as a noun. So without going mm -hmm. for. So if it's preceded by a preposition for, okay, it is used as a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a verb. Okay. If it's used as a verb, it should be preceded by an infinitive to, to swim, like that, okay? Okay. Okay, so are you done? Yeah, it's done. Okay. We some, okay, sometimes, okay? We sometimes go through the summer without going for a swim, okay? A swim. Okay. Okay. Congratulations again. <laughs> okay. So you certainly did a great job again today. So congratulations, Mr. Chen. Keep keep it up. Okay. Keep up the good work. Okay. Okay. okay but it's too sad because we need to hang up now, so, um, Mr. Chen. <laughs> okay. Time's too fast, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So what are you, what what will you do after our lesson? I think I uh, have uh, take a nap. You will continue taking a nap. <laughs> no. Okay. So it seems like uh, you're not satisfied taking a nap because you had to, yeah, you had to take your class for today. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm so glad that uh, you booked your lesson in the morning. Yes, or in the afternoon rather, because as you know, um, I'm I feel sleepy in the evening, right? <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm just glad that uh, you booked your lesson in the afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much again, Mr. Jen. See you thank again you. next time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead of you. Happy Sunday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.